What's up, YouTube? Soul Supremacy here, coming to you with a new pickup. I'm well, new video. It's so pretty much a vlog, talking about today's discussions outside, inside and outside the sneaker community. So let's get into it. My first topic. Um, let's see. Well, yeah. Um, Air Jordan Six, the new colorway popped up on online. You can have a couple of pictures on SoulCollector.com. Um, pretty basic pictures, not anything in detail. Looks like it's been taken by a, pretty much a potato, to be honest. It's not that great of detail on big pictures. And um, you can see some more right here in the bottoms. Now, my initial um, opinion on these is that it's not that great of a colorway at all like to be honest the leather do look like it's a nice good leather and this look like it may be a limited shoe which will bring up the hype as usual but i don't understand why it's completely mostly red like didn't we already have the infrared 23 6s where it was pretty much red um i don't understand where the green pops in this whole shoe unless it's a christmas colorway which i don't understand why jordan brand would really do that but if it is then i kind of understand if it isn't then i don't agree with the greed at all unless there's a reasoning behind it but as you can see the inner lining looks like it has some type of design on it and it looks pretty nice can't can't lie on that you can see the bottoms with the white bottoms, the ice, icy blue bottoms as well, with the green jump man. But to be honest, these look like a pass to me. As you can see, other people agree. It's six or seven percent of the people that saw the pics agree that they will pass. And the comments wasn't too favorable. It wasn't on the side of Coppin. But we will see on future um, picks. We all know how hype plays out on um, how a shoe sells. And this to me going to be a limited shoe. The leather looks pretty nice and that inner liner looks pretty dope as well. And I doubt Jordan Brown will really make these a general release a shoe. But the second topic is on Kevin Durant. Congratulations to him. Winning the MVP yesterday. He gave his... Um, his speech and it was really an emotional speech talking about the difficulties growing up with his mom um with his teammates and so on and so forth and he was crying very emotional and it was one of the most emotional um speeches i've remembered in a while to be honest like the room was it was it was amazing and he deserved it this year he went off i mean averaging 32 points a game and pretty much seven assists eight rebounds pretty great year for kevin durant he, he um he's playing the clippers right now i mean they're down 1-0 wish him the best i'm not really a kevin durant fan i i respected his game but i'm more of a lebron fan and even though i had to give it up to kd for taking it this year we'll see what will happen at the end of the playoffs because that's what really matters these days championships not really mvps but it does matter but Championships get respect. So enough on this topic. On to something. Um, what else I was going to do? Uh, oh damn! I wasn't supposed to cut that off. Oh yes. I don't know if people seen this video. This video about this girl that got hit by the shovel, and I know it's pretty serious because she got hit. But just watch the video, and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it already. <laughs> Let me just replay that. Every time I see this video, I start dying because. Yeah, well, let me just replay it. <laughs> Damn. Son. Well, this is like the short version of it. It's like an eight-minute video of what really happened. And to be honest, just the thought of using a shovel on someone is ridiculous. And she hit her dead on on the head, as you can see in replay right here. Like, I don't... 
it's ridiculous these days what people will do. Hopefully she's okay because that sounds like a serious hit, like probably a big concussion, probably more and more more than likely she's going to be charging arresting that girl who threw this shovel at her. It's really it's sad, but it's in a comical way. The way that the whole media pretty exploded with this, made memes, made videos about it, and just took it in their own humorous manner. So if you haven't seen this video, I'm going to show the full, the full video link in the description down below so you can check it out. Show your opinion down below about everything in this video. Um, now going on to this. This, yeah, this is my final, um, vi final topic for today. As you can see, I live in NYC, so this is a pretty big topic because it's on the daily news. As you can see, this guy kicked um, a cat like 20 feet in the air. It's pretty serious. I don't know if this this video works. Does it work? I right, just hold on. You see the video playing right now, and you can see he's messing with the cat, and then he just blatantly, blatantly just kicked the cat for no reason. I don't know if he was high, but it's to me personally, he deserved to be arrested and put in jail because he has a history. It shows in the article that he has a history, included, oh, uh, where is it? Going on. Uh, can't really find it right now, but he has been arrested before. Um, one of them including robbery with a knife, robbing someone with a knife. So that's pretty serious. I don't understand how he's not in jail already. But stuff like that, people are outraged that he's got arrested because it's just a cat. But if you think about it, it's a cat. It not it's not doing anything. It's a stray cat, by the way. It's not doing anything to you, but you think it's hilarious for you to just to kick it like a barbarian. So I have no sympathy for this guy. I hope he does go to jail. I think he may go to jail for three years. I'm not sure about that, but if he does, I'm perfectly glad with that because someone like that doesn't doesn't need doesn't deserve to be free. I mean, we all see what happened with Michael Vick a couple of years back with dogfighting and how long he went. I mean, stuff like this to me is serious, and I'm not that big of a cat person either or a pet person, but it's a helpless animal and it's not cool at all. So leave your comments down below. Um, tell me what you think about these topics. Tell me what you think about me doing these type of things other than just shoe, shoe reviews. Talking about anything, really. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Soul Supremacy. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my past videos. And look um, look forward. Look forward to my future videos. Hope you enjoy. Peace.